Hi everyone, welcome to Christina Welch Art. Today we are doing a Dutch pour. On Thursday's tutorial, we taught uh, you how to mix Dutch pour paint and base paints. And today we're going to use those paints. So my base color is the 12 shades of gray, green gray, uh, mixed with the Creative Inspirations Pearl Essence. I did almost half and half, but it will give me a nice little sheen as it dries. So our paint's super thin and ready to be poured. Um, my colors are Naples Yellow from Artist Loft. This is Grumbacher Prussian Blue. This is Golden Iridescent Gold Deep from uh, Deep Fine, actually, from Golden. This beautiful green is from Art Alchemy. It is called Dark Forest. It's a beautiful metallic green. Super dark. I love this color. And our last one is the DecoArt Media. This is Interference Green, and that will be our little pop in the painting as far as some interference goes. So those are my five. We'll see how they turn out on this color background. And let's get pouring. So I will be using my little Berta dryer as long as she works. If she doesn't give me the push that I'm looking for, I'll switch hair dryers. But I have this Ziploc down on the cool shot so it does not blow hot air. I do have a version of this in my Amazon shop. It is a black dryer just like this and it comes with two attachments. So let me get the green down. I have this on my spinner so it will be easier for me to turn it as I blow it. I try to keep my paints blown one way in one direction with the dryer so it's all even. And I do like to pour my paint off. That way I know I'm getting enough paint off the canvas. But I'm still leaving enough on to play with it. Let me wipe my hands real quick. She's very drippy. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start with the Prussian Blue. I am going to take the stick out and pinch my cup. I don't want a lot of this, so I'm going to be very gentle on placement. It's just there for contrast. And we will follow that with the Dark Forest. This I do want a lot of, so I'm going to go a little thicker. And don't worry if you drip. Just Pick it off with your finger. It's like a magic eraser. <laughs> All right, let's go with some gold. Actually, you know what? Let's go with the interference green. I was going to put it on top, but I think I'm going to put it under. See how it plays with these two dark colors. We can actually add it twice. So I'm going to go just a little bit of the Naples yellow. Then I'm going to go with the gold. You can already see where it's playing well there. Looks like I'm losing my blue. And let's just do a drizzle 
of the blue. So I do want to have a little bit on top. I have enough green. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know me. If you've been watching me, you know me. Alright, and then I'm going to do a little more interference on top. Okay. Let me move these aside and we will get to blowing. Alright. Okay, I'm not minding that. I 
do have to put some more paint here on the edge. I bumped into it a couple of times with my apron reaching across, which I didn't want to do. That's why I put it on the spinner. So as you can see, some of these colors do get swallowed up. My paint is super thin on this canvas, so it's not because of that. It's just how they react with other paints. But I'm glad the green is there. That would have, the, My goal was to have the green, the gold, and the yellow with hints of the blue and um, the interference green. So we won't see that interference green until this is dry because I think parts of it did sink, but I have some really pretty gold stuff going on here. And I will do a quick close-up for you. I'm just going to touch this up a little bit and blow it with my dryer, and then I'll do a close-up. Okay, here's a close-up. I did shut one light off because it was really a double glare. So there's all of our beautiful dark forest green with our hints of Prussian blue and gold and yellow. This has been sinking a little bit. I did touch it a little bit with the airbrush and blew a couple of spots with my mouth. But there's some interference green there. But see how it sells out? And that's what metallics do when you put them in a Dutch pour. So that's a good note to take too, to not overdo it with your metallics. But um, this side looks kind of weepy here, so I may touch that up a little bit. But overall, let me see if I can turn it without making too much of a mess. Overall, not too bad. But that's it. So I think I'm going to call this one done. I am going to airbrush these edges over a little bit. They are starting to dry. Sometimes it's better to not touch them so you don't get the lip. But I'm a little anal about that. <laughs> Let's see if we turn it. I have a lot of sinkage going on here. So I'll probably continue with my airbrush to keep pushing this out a little bit until it doesn't sink anymore. And then uh, I'll show you the dry version on Thursday. But I am gonna fix this edge that I showed you in the previous video. And I will see you all on Monday and on Thursday. Thanks guys. Don't forget to click subscribe Click on that bell for notifications. Join us every Monday night live right here on my channel. Uh, we do some paintings. Alan paints with me on Monday nights. And then on Thursday nights we do tutorials. Uh, this week was of course the Dutch pour paint mix. And the week before that was how to mix pouring paints. So if you haven't, if you missed those, check those out. If you have questions, you can email me at ChristinaWelchart at yahoo.com. Join my Facebook group on Facebook, uh, Paraj Posse with Christina Welch. I also have my Christina Welch art page on Facebook. And um, check out my Etsy shop for Paraj Posse paints. Uh, we do have our own paint line, and we have 48 colors. I did not use them here because I wanted to try something different, um, but we will use them a lot this during this uh, tutorial session. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye now.